Hello and welcome to Business Notes. I'm your host, Diane Bogino. And our guest today is Gina Shrek. Gina, C Gina Shrek, CSP, is president and founder of three successful Colorado-based businesses. Pinnacle, Pinnacle Achievement, Shrek Talk Keynotes, and Synapse 3DI. Some call her a serial entrepreneur. She says it's just business. She's also the host of Getting Geeky, where she talks about social media and new technology. Uh, Gina is a sought-after speaker on dynamic communication, understanding technology, and social networking trends. Gina, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. This is very fun. So, Gina, why should companies embrace new te technology in their companies today? Well, I, I don't think it's an option anymore for companies to say, should I use it or shouldn't I? It's how well will I use it? And, uh, you know, we just have to look at the consumer has changed. So we have to look at changing the way that we reach those consumers. And we, we again, it's no longer an option. It's when people tell me, I don't do technology. I say, no, that's like saying you don't do electricity. We all do technology. It's just we have to get better at. And it's not selling with technology or trying to push products on people. It's really how do we engage our, our audience, mm -hmm. have those conversations. Is there one particular social media tool that everybody should be using? That is a really popular question. What's the one thing? It's kind of, you know, the, was it Jack Palin's? One thing. There's not one. It really depends on, I would say, where are your customers? Where are they? If they're on Facebook, which 500 million people are on Facebook, so they're probably there. I mean, I know, even grandma's gone wild on Facebook. So, you know, we have uh, everybody on Facebook, but is that the consumer you're trying to reach? M you know, Twitter, I always say we should use Twitter, maybe not to use it as a PR tool for everybody, but everybody can learn from thought leaders on Twitter. So finding smart people to follow on Twitter is a really smart thing to do to grow your own business. And then tools like LinkedIn depends on, again, who's your audience. And that might be the tool for you. So it's finding where your consumers are and your, uh, really your community and using the tools that they're using. Go where they How are. How can people manage all the social medias that are out there today without getting overwhelmed? Yeah, without needing the straight jacket right. that, that I keep handy. <laughs> uh, you know, it, there's so much in it. And people always say it's information overload, but really it's filter failure. And there are tools that we need to use that filter the information that's coming in. So tools like TweetDeck, Hootsuite. Those are two power social media tools, and those will help you filter Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and you don't need to go into each one of those sites. They will pull columns in, and it really is a really wonderful tool. If people say, how do I manage this? You need TweetDeck or Hootsuite. Those are the two that will do everything except make dinner. Although it does make dinner reservations. I did find <laughs> out you can order on Twitter now, you know. Yeah, well, if you're connected with your restaurant, oh, yeah, you sh you'd be surprised what you can do online. So, yeah, so those are tools that help you manage the, the um, content and information that's coming in. Great. Good to know. So what is the best way for you to get, or anybody to get, a lot of people to connect with them on Facebook and Twitter? Yeah, well, you know, it depends on which one, uh, because on, on Twitter, to find good people to follow, it, you know, I always ask people first, what is your goal? Because if you say, well, my goal is to have 3,000 people, well, I can show you 3,000 naked spammers that you can connect with if that's really your goal. That is not your goal. You want to connect with people who will buy your product or service. So if that's your goal, then you want to find your community on Twitter. And there are, there are what they call tweet chats that go on every week, every day. There's a, a group that meets online, so it's a live chat and you find your community and you get involved in those uh, groups and you can get a hundred people in a night connecting with you that are targeted these are not spammers these are all people for example learn chat is a group that I'm involved with technology and education and it's a tech savvy group they're on Twitter every Thursday and there's a global group that meets and they use a hashtag which is just a little tag they put in all their tweets when I'm involved in that group I we connect with each other and we're, you know, there's a facilitator that leads the discussion. It's all on Twitter. Facebook is a little different because I can't just go out and connect with people. I have to, I have to drive people to my fan page. If, you know, now my profile, I can just go connect again with, with people I don't know. But you have to be a little more strategic and put more work into your Facebook page. And Twitter becomes my channel, my driver. 
to my Facebook page. What are the new tech trends coming down the pipe now? I'm really excited because a couple of the trends, you keep wondering what I'm holding maybe, but the, this is my iPad in an Etch-A-Sketch case because technology is fun. Technology is fun. But one of the hot trends besides mobile, everything mobile and how can we really connect with our community, deliver our content in a way that people can consume it on a mobile device. But the hottest trend, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, these are little codes, QR codes, and these, we're going to talk about this at tomorrow's meeting, but this is one of the hottest trends. You will see, now that I showed you, you'll see them everywhere because they're on commercials, they're in magazines, they're on uh, postcards that come in the mail. It is a way that we can reach consumers with more information. Take If you scan this with a barcode scanner, it takes you to my website, and all mobile devices have scanners so now I take out my phone that has a scanner on it I scan this code and it takes you to my website or some embedded content that I put into this code that might give you some information about my company wow. yeah watch for QR codes really amazing now we have to go get tattooed great yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm opening a tattoo shop down the street <laughs> but a technical one yeah <laughs> So, Gina, you've been in business a long time. What is your business philosophy? How have you been so successful? You know, I think really the, the, my biggest, um, I guess, strength that has kept me going into the future is being flexible and, mm -hmm. and not just following trends when they come up, but really analyzing trends and saying, where are the consumers going? And right now, everything is social, social sharing, social learning. And so we have to look at as, as professional speakers or people in, in business to say, how does my consumer want to connect with me and my content that I have? And whether it's a product, whether it's a service, how can I connect? Because that trend is not going away. Mm -hmm. And I think too many people get stuck in, this is what I do. I can't adapt to the, the next trend. But Facebook is not the trend. Twitter is not the trend. Those are tools that have come into the trend of social connecting and social sharing. And we have to look at how do I ad adapt my content to social sharing and get, you know, it's just, I think, and that's what's helped me is just being flexible to that and saying the next trend, what will that be and how are people connecting and sharing and how do I move my business into that to meet the needs there. And what advice would you give uh, our business viewers out there for continued success or if somebody's just getting started? Yeah, number one, don't get overwhelmed because there are so many tools that you feel like I have to know them all. I tell people pick one. Pick one this month and say, I'm going back to school and I will learn. And you don't have to actually go to school. <laughs> your, your schooling is in your home saying this month I will learn how to market using Facebook or this month I will learn more about QR codes and you pick one tool and then the third tip is travel in with friends find a couple friends and say let's do this I'm gonna get on this or try this tool will you let's explore it together because it's just more fun mm -hmm. to explore new tech trends and tools together and you learn a lot more Great. yeah Gina thank you so much for being with us thank tonight you. thank you and thank you for joining us on Georgia Business Directory. And uh, we're here tonight from Scalini's on Cobb Parkway. This is Diane Bogino saying until next time.